I'm probably more sad about that than anything else in the van. Oh, you can see them. I've pretty much covered the top part of the bulkhead. I'm Cheska, this is Ben, and this is our little hitchhiker river. We've spent the last year traveling Europe in our self built sprinter van Sophia, but new horizons are calling. In 2021, we'll be driving all the way to Cape Town, South Africa. Before we go, we're making some upgrades to Sophia to get her ready for those African roads. Subscribe and join us for the ride. Good morning everyone and welcome back to yet another week on the van build. We are already feeling so much better than last week and we've had a few days off, just relaxed, chilled, not put any pressure on ourselves and it has made the world a difference. Um, and also thank you so much for your comments on last week's video honestly they really made us smile at a time we were feeling pretty low so thank you for that we've got some fairly big jobs this week on the van including getting our spare wheel mount fitted which is very exciting that is going to look so cool when it's on this is the bit i've not been looking forward to during the holes is okay now i've got to take an angle grinder to this <laughs> okay First thing I've got to do is take out these because if I fit the wheel carrier whilst that's in, when I open it, it's just gonna rip the sheet metal apparently. So from the instructions, I need to take out this hinge. So first of all, I'm gonna cut it at a diagonal and then bring it out and then chop the ends off and then hammer it it. Let that dry and then yeah, let's see how we go, shall we? Gloves on, my glo protective glasses on for everyone that's worried. That's hoodie. It would be stupid angle grind. It would grinding. be stupid angle grind. <laughs> All done? All done, yeah. So cut it at an angle, and then brought these two bits out and cut them flat. What the pain is, this still obviously moves, so I had to wedge block of wood behind to cut straight. So my first attempt, I have nicked a little bit there, but it's not gonna make any difference. So, um, so now, just gonna cover all the bare metal in hammerite, fold it off, cover it in hammerite, let that dry, and then, we can mount the wheel rack. Wait. So when we got this, it was um, at to its bare metal. So a few people suggested to powder coat it, but I'd already bought the Raptor paint because I wanted to try the Raptor paint to see what it looks like and how it, you know, the texture and everything for if we do the sides of the van or the bottom side of the van. Um, and I actually came out really good. I'm really impressed with it. I love the texture. But yeah, no, it came out perfect. Just used two cans. Um, use the primer first, the Raptor primer um, for galvanized steel um, and then the Raptor paint on top. So this sits oh, this way around like that and then it lines up to the two holes there and the two holes there on the hinge. Then once that's in place we need to draw a hole through here and through the skin of the van, put a bolt through but unfortunately We've already, we carpeted this last time, so we're gonna have to cut a hole, cut a slit, we'll work out roughly where it is, cut a slit, put the nut on and then tighten it and then we'll work out something here. There we go, all on, it looks really good. I'll put a link in the description to the guy we got this from. So many of you recommended him. He was, um, I think it's Williams on Instagram. Also, one thing to note, I'm going to have to take this off tomorrow, but I wanted to see what it looked like on. I cannot wait till tomorrow. Um, I'm going to take this off. I'm going to undo the bolts that goes through the van and I'm going to wax some Sikaflex around the bolt and around the hole because water will be able to get in. So, um, yeah, just a tip, Sikaflex it, whack it in, seal, then you get no water through your back door. Hopefully. Okay, so I think that is our final big job for the outside of the van done. So, so pleased with it. Like, pretty easy to fit as well, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it was. It was just a bit awkward, I think, if you're on your own trying yeah. to 
hold it and put the bolt to tighten it. But it's a bit awkward and heavy. It looks badass as well. I love it. I'm really pleased. I'm really pleased with it. We'll go back to the unit tomorrow, won't we? And work there. I don't know what we're going to work on actually. Uh, tiles. Yeah, you're going to work on the tiles, and I'm going to make a start on the the toilet surround, aren't I? Okay, don't have to slam it too hard now. <laughs> So I was sorting through some of my things the other day and I found something that was very, very special and I thought you guys might like to see it. Um, as some of you know, uh, my dad has dementia and if you're watching God way back when we were in Portugal and I spoke a little bit more about it and I was saying how much he loved to travel and kind of really encouraged me to travel a lot, um, I found this present from him in a little note. It's this huge coffee table book, um, just of drone shots all around the world and that is just incredible. Um, yeah, the earth from above, as it says, and it's just the most beautiful photography in here and not just landscapes, but different cultures and the way that humans have shaped the earth and stuff in it is, it is just a really, really beautiful book and um, I found this little note in it. So you don't run out of wonderful places and photo opportunities. So yeah, a very, very special book there. Good morning everyone, we are off to the unit today but before we go we have just brought down our old mattress and our old sofa cushions because they are being collected today to be recycled so we're just leaving them there. Obviously we're not going to be having our mattress in the new build and our cushions are going to be completely different and I didn't really want to send them to landfill, there's quite a big problem in landfills with mattresses. Um, I think I've read somewhere that you can fill Wembley Stadium five times over with the amount of matches that are thrown away. So we're getting ours recycled. Morning. You right? But yeah, obviously mattresses are a real pain to get rid of. So if you do have a mattress to get rid of, I would just recommend Googling just like mattress recycling companies. They, they are around and ours are being 100% recycled from the springs to the polyester. And it's just great to know that they're not going to go to landfill. Um, so yeah, I didn't even know they existed until this week. So I just thought I'd let you know that. Bye bye mattress. I'm so attached to this mattress. I've never had such a good night's sleep as on that one. Be sad to see it go. I'm probably more sad about that than anything else in the van. I didn't realise you got in the van, I was about to drive <laughs> off. <laughs> Today, Chess is putting up the tiles or attempting to, and I have made a start on putting the 12 volt in. So we've got the batteries down the bottom here. So far, so good. I did realise I wired the uh, dimmer switch the wrong way around, so it wasn't working. I spent ages trying to work that out. It's one of the fiddliest jobs I think I've ever done in my life. Um, I'm just taking it very, very slow because it's very easy to mess it up. And I don't want to have to spend ages getting getting them peeling them all off again. So we got progress on this from this time because remember last time, guys, we got to here and no, it popped up. I did this. Oh yeah, you did that bit as well, didn't you? But I'm gonna. You just come out this way instead. River's napping in a bed now. Now that she's run right around the unit. It's a lot of fiddly stuff, I think, this week, isn't it? I don't really need to do the 12 volt thing yet, but I think it's probably the best thing to do just to get it all wired up and make sure everything's working because we don't want to get too far down the line and realise I've cocked up somewhere. No. Whenever I crimp these little connectors on, you can't see that. These little connectors on. Just give it a little pull just to make sure it holds because you don't want it to rattle out later on down the line like that one would have. So, what I do need to do now is draw up a little uh, diagram of this and write down what each connection is so I know because now that I've pulled all the wires through, I have to take the masking tape off because I can't get my hands around and make it look nice and pretty. So, to remember what's what. I'll draw it later. I don't know, you can't see it from there, but there, I'm having the battery on the bench. I'm just putting the, the 12 volt connectors on there. Oh, 12 volt connections on there for the fuse board. Then we should hear a beep 
So, if we hear a beep, we know that the front lights are working. Okay, ready? River's ready, River's at the door watching. Ah, oh, could my beautiful assistant give me a hand for two seconds just whilst I'm holding? May you just hit the, the power switch on the... Just so please. Are we on? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Do you want to show the camera? Oh, yeah, you can see them. We have front lights, we have back lights. So today I've managed to get much further ahead in the tiling than I did last week. I've pretty much covered the top part of the bulkhead. I'm really, really pleased with how it's looking. So yeah, this is what they look like. So, so pleased with them. Up here, this is um, just stuck on with masking tape, which is actually a really good way to just make sure all of the cuts are right, everything, the patterns are lining up before committing to sticking them down. So um, that's just up there for now. And then I've got the, so basically this top bit to finish. And all along here, and then here we're having a cupboard start from around here. Um, so I'm not going to waste tiles on bits that we're not going to see. But yeah, really pleased with how this is looking so far. Get one line. Someone's feeling a little sleepy. Aren't you? Oh. Oh. I get you so much. Come on, River. Let's get Bill in the van. This one doing here. River. Let's find a new toy. Is there anything in the bucket? I don't think so, no. You okay? Yes, I think you'll do something useful to me. So I need to test all the tiles here so I can put the baton on and I can start building the cupboard because that will be hidden. I don't know if it showed you, but I also wired in the lights. Well, no, I did show you the lights, but I did show you the light switch. This is our dimmer switch. We've got one here, which. So that one does these four lights here at the front. And then we have another switch here, which does the back. Because obviously it's your bed. Yeah, that's what I do. Look professional. Oh, I just hate doing this. I just don't want to do it. Are you regretting doing it now? No, because it looks really good. It's just. It does, not even up close. It looks really, really good. Okay, so shall we get the ply cut down for the doors here to, to these sizes? Mm -hmm. Then that's all nice and done. done and ready then, so I can tweak that over the weekend. plywood for the cabinet doors we are missing a couple of tools that we need to do, to do the design that we want so we are going to take the plywood back home and work on it from there we actually want to be out of this unit in about three weeks by the end of March so we're going to start gradually taking stuff back with us anyway so you'll probably see us working from home a little bit more um, but yeah we're really excited to get properly stuck into these cabinets and I cannot wait to get these doors on everything Just using my uh, hair dryer. 